Okay, so we'd like to do 47 and 11.6. And really what we're talking about here is maybe when or why would you introduce a log to both sides of an equation, okay? So here I've got this thing that says 10 raised to the twice b plus one power is 51.3, okay? And I would like to solve this, right? Okay, so philosophically, I want to get the B by itself, right? My goal is to kind of do some fiddling and end up with over here like V is some kind of number, right? Okay, my primary obstacle for that right now is that the V is in the exponent of something, right? So I I cannot write this. I will not be able to write this conveniently without doing something about the fact that it's in the exponent first. Okay? Now I have this tool, this log function, that says what is the power of 10 present here, right? So when I do log base 10 of something, right? This tells me how many tens multiply together to get my something. Is it base 10 because it's 10 over there? Yeah, and I would think to myself, okay, here I would like to get this exponent down, right? So if I ask this question, my log base 10 question, about this stuff, the answer will be 2v plus 1. You guys all see that? If that number was like a 12 or a 13, would it still be log base 10? If that number were kind of different other than a 10, I maybe would take the log base whatever it was. Oh, okay. Or I might deal with it. There's a way to deal with it. We can see that in a minute. But primarily, I would try to get rid of it using the log base whatever it was. Did okay. I see that? I was just asking because you can't always do log base. <coughs> okay, I have to do that to the other side. So what I want to do is I want to take this piece, right, and log base 10. But I cannot do something to the left-hand side of an equation without also doing it to the right. Otherwise, they wouldn't be the same thing, right? So, it's going to be log base 10 5, and this is 1, 3, the left-hand. Ah, so when I take log base 10 of this thing, I'm going to get 2v plus 1, right? Mm -hmm. On the right-hand side, I'm just going to get whatever log base 10 of 51.3 is. Right? That's some number. So, it it kind of reminds me of like the Sobertello thing. It, I know it's not, but like the fact that you have word. Oh, yeah. So those are also, Sokotoa, right, sine, cosine, and tangent, are also functions with multi-letter names. Right? Yeah, so this kind of thing, right, is a function name. That's really like an F. That's the name of the rule that I'm doing to both sides. You guys see that? All right, so where do I get log base 10 of 51.3? Is that a convenient number? Probably not. What would it? What would a clue that it isn't a convenient number be? It's or, a point three. Okay, the fact that it's got a decimal point and that it's log base 10, yeah, that might be reasonable. That it's someplace between 10 to the first and 10 to the second, right? It's not a convenient number. Okay, so. Would we want to even round that? Can we do that with log? Okay, so this is a reasonable question, right? Can I do this? Do I want to do this? Well, this thing's going to be a kind of a nasty number, right? Do you have one, a, an approximation for that? What'd you push? I pushed the log, and then it showed up with one C like the equal to three, and I used C, and it came out with one point and then zero. Perfect. Okay, so we found out using Jennifer's calculator and punching in. The log key and then 51.3, closing the parentheses and hit en hitting enter, that this was 1.71. Do you want me to stop there? Or do you want to keep that? 
No, that's fine. So there's more stuff to this, right? This is only a decimal approximation. Okay. If I want to keep my hard equal sign, I have to keep this whole mess in there. If I want to say this is approximately, I can do that. What's up? How many hundreds do we have to write to? That's a question for a different place. Oh. Your rounding precision isn't so much my concern here as that you round somewhere. Well, but like on a test when we write it out, do we, would we just go Two to places like the is number? fine, okay. yeah. If you, as a general rule, two places is fine for in here. In a chemistry class or a physics class or something like that is different, you have to do whatever okay. rules apply for the discipline. So significant figures or something for that, but we don't discuss it. Okay, so I got to here. Now I'd like to find the V by itself, right? Mm -hmm. What I've got is 2V plus 1. So how do I get the V by itself? Okay, so we'd subtract 1. So I've got 2V, and that's going to equal... Is it going to approximate? Okay, so do I... If I pick the hard equal sign, I have to write this whole jump down, minus 1. So with a hard equal sign, I've got log base 10 of 51.3 minus 1. With a soft, right, approximately, I've got 0.71. Could you just skip it and just go straight this way? Yeah. So if you're approximating, that's the answer, right? Well, almost. What else do I need to do? That's all for me. Okay, I better divide by two. Oops. So I divide by two. And I get, okay, so V is, if I have a hard equals, it's log base 10 of 51.3 minus 1 all over 2. And with a soft equals, it's approximately 0.355. So then would we write the third one just to kind of clarify it? I'm not. I'm not so concerned with it, which form you pick here, as long as you pick one. So you did this for that is fine by me. Cool. If you do use this, make sure you're using the approximately equal sign, right? Because that's not actually what you got. It's just the approximately. Cool. This helps out when the log thing. What if it's not a thing? What if it's right? Log, like, log seven. So you just go just Okay. So when would I do something with a log base other than ten or e? Okay, I have a log base five, one twenty five equals three. So I Hang know on. that's gonna end up being three to the five. I just I wanna address why you would do that in the first place though. Like why would I introduce a log base something other than 10 or E? Because it's convenient for both sides of the equation. Don't do it if it's only convenient for one side. If you have an equation where only one side is convenient, use log base 10 or log base E because you're going to have to put it in your calculator anyway. So you may as well get a button that's actually on your calculator as opposed to one of the ones that's not. Does that e make sense? Is just another number? Yeah, e is a number like pi. Okay. Then, you know, pi refers to circles. E what refers is? to growth. To growth. Yeah, okay. that's why we have that number. Okay. Anything else?